a professor of neuroscience. Now, as a neuroscientist, I, a neuroscientist as a full professor of neuroscience, I am talking about the powerful effects of physical activity that is simply moving your body has immediate, long-lasting, and protective benefits for your brain, and that can last for the rest of your life. So I discovered and I experienced the brain-changing effects of exercise. When I stuck my head out of my lab door, I noticed something. I had no social life. I spent too much time listening to those brain cells in a dark room by myself. I, um, I didn't move my body at all. I had gained 25 pounds. I was actually miserable, and I shouldn't be miserable. And I went on a river rafting trip by myself because I had no social life. And I came back <laughs> thinking, oh my God, I was the weakest person on that trip. And I came back with a mission. I said, I'm never going to feel like the weakest person on a river rafting trip again. And that's what made me go to the gym. I tried everything. I went to kickbox, dance, yoga, uh, step class. And at first it was really hard. But what I noticed is that after every sweat-inducing workout that I tried, I had this great mood boost and this great energy boost. And that's what kept me going back to the gym. Better mood, better energy, better memory, better attention. I've come to the following conclusion, that exercise is the most transformative thing that you can do for your brain today for the following three reasons. Number one, it has immediate effects on your brain. A single workout that you do will immediately increase levels of neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline. That is going to increase your mood right after that workout. Hippocampus, or exercise, actually produces brand new brain cells, new brain cells in the hippocampus that actually increase its volume as well as improve your long-term memory, okay? And that, that in, including in you and me. Number two, the most common finding in um, neuroscience studies looking at the effects of exercise, long-term exercise, is improved attention function dependent on your prefrontal cortex. You not only get better focus and attention, but the volume of the hippocampus increases as well. The most transformative thing that exercise will do is its protective effects on your brain. Here you can think about the brain like a muscle. The more you're working out, the bigger and stronger your hippocampus and prefrontal cortex gets. Why is that important? Because the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus are the two areas that are most susceptible to neurodegenerative diseases and normal cognitive decline in aging. So with increased exercise over your lifetime, you're not going to cure dementia or Alzheimer's disease. But what you're going to do is you're going to create the strongest, biggest hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. So it takes longer for these diseases to actually have an effect. And that is, just tell me the minimum amount of exercise <laughs> I need to get all these changes. And so, um, so I'm going to tell you the answer to that question. First... Good news, you don't have to become a triathlete to get these effects. The rule of thumb is you want to get three to four times a week exercise, minimum 30 minutes an exercise session, and you want to get aerobic exercise in. That is, get your heart rate up. And the good news is you don't have to go to the gym to get a very expensive gym membership. Add an extra walk around the block in your power walk. Uh, you see stairs? Take stairs. Uh, and power vacuuming can be as good as the aerobics class that you're going to take at the gym.